Dogecoin is a great example of not just one cryptocurrency, but in a way, all cryptocurrencies. All of these currencies are being driven uh, in a large part by faith, right? People believing in them, believing in their future. As long as people believe in them, like Bitcoin, as long as people believe in it, it has value. If people stop believing in it, Bitcoin, like a lot of fiat currencies, will go away. Except Bitcoin isn't backed by an economy. It isn't tied to a government, right? So uh, it could go away much, unlike the U.S. dollar, which literally, as long as the government is stable and, and the U.S. economy is stable, it's going to have value, right? Um, we With Dogecoin, we don't know. Right. All of these are works in progress. Now, th what's funny is the history of Dogecoin. So for those of you who don't know, the founder of Dogecoin literally sold all of his Dogecoin because he created it as a joke, a meme. Like it was, you know, funny dog. It's going to be fun. I'll put this out there. I'll see what happens. When he, he sold all of his Dogecoin very early on and ended up buying a Honda car, right? A little Honda car. Well, now Dogecoin is worth more than like four or five times the entire Honda Motors company. So if he had just held on to his Dogecoin, you know, he would be a billionaire. So I'm sure he's kicking himself. And just the other day, he mentioned that Elon Musk is a grifter. He's trying to steal credit for Dogecoin, like from him, because he created it. And Elon Musk now has sort of taken ownership. He calls himself the Doge father, like godfather, like of Dogecoin. And he has been working with the developers. Uh, so he has a personal stake in this. Uh, I don't know financially, but emotionally, definitely a personal stake and probably financially um, to make Dogecoin a success. Now, that gives Dogecoin a lot of cred. Like if you are talking, you know, people in crypto, they worship Elon Musk. And, you know, when he was like, I'm going to integrate uh, Bitcoin with, you know, so people can buy Teslas with Bitcoin. And then all of a sudden he flip flopped on that and he was like, oh, no, you know, I'm. I'm not going to integrate, you know, we're not going to allow people to buy Teslas with, with Bitcoin because Bitcoin is actually bad for the environment. It's throwing off a lot of greenhouse gases. It's consuming a lot of energy. Um, he's, you know, his flip on that made a lot of people really angry. But um, he also has been tweeting back and forth on Dogecoin. Like if he does a negative tweet that it's overvalued, then it shoots down. If he comes back and says he's on the development team, he believes in it, it shoots back up. What will happen next with Dogecoin? You shouldn't ask me. You should ask Elon because literally <laughs> he's the guy driving the ship. If one of his tweets, you know, could send it to the moon and another tweet could send it down back to Earth. So we will have to see. Um, Do Elon Musk's vision for Dogecoin is right. Like I, um, I agree with his vision. His, you know, he's looking at Dogecoin and he's giving them advice, like lower the transaction costs, like get this cost down like a hundred times, like, you know, make this much more accessible, things like that. If, if the developers uh, follow his lead and they can actually implement it and make it happen, um, and he believes they can, um, then Dogecoin could become as, as instrumental as Bitcoin or any of these else. But it's a big unknown. And, and there's a lot of hype right now. And you got to ask yourself, like, you know, there are different types of investments in the world. Like, we know crypto is very volatile. We know crypto is very, uh, you know, uh, risky. Um, there's a high risk factor. It, what people, most people investing in crypto don't really care to understand it. They're not going to take the time. Like, literally, they look at the whole crypto market, whether it's Dogecoin, you know, Cardona, you know, Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin. They look at all of these as a giant casino, the biggest casino the world has ever seen. And they're in on it because they can trade from their home and it's fun. And these things are shooting up and down at, at rates that, you know, most stocks could never dream of. Most stocks, you know, have a fraction of the volatility of, of, of these coins. So that creates a very tempting environment. For anybody who wants to get rich quick. So um, there is that element to it. And you as an investor need to understand that you are entering, you know, the, the, this giant casino where anything can change at any time. 
And if you aren't prepared for that, like at when, you know, you, you, you are deluding yourself. So yes, you can make a lot of money. Yes, uh, there are a lot of people becoming very rich. Um, the market is a bull market. And as long, I will tell you, as long as it's a bull market, it almost doesn't matter. You can place your money on any of the winners, like take the top 20 uh, crypto uh, uh, tokens out there. You can place your money on any of them and you're probably going to make money. Um, but if the market changes, that dynamic is going to change. So just be aware. I hope you enjoyed the talk. If you liked it, you can come to founderspace.com. You can check out our latest events, contact us, and see my latest books, Make Elephants Fly, Surviving a Startup, and The Five Forces. You can also find me on all the major social networks. Just search for Founderspace.